I got a really interesting question by email the other day. If astronauts experience zero gravity or microgravity on the ISS because they're in a constant state of freefall, would it be different if they were truly removed from any force of gravity at all? Is there a true no gravity? This is actually really neat, so let's go into it. The first thing we need to make clear, there's gravity everywhere in space. The Earth's gravity keeps the moon in orbit. The sun's gravity keeps all of the planets in our solar system in that structure. All of the solar systems in our galaxy are orbiting where they are because of the overarching pull of gravity within the galaxy. There's gravity everywhere, but the further you are from a given point, the less you feel that gravity. But that's not where weightlessness comes from. The International Space Station is at 250 miles or about 400 kilometers, and there's still gravity. You still feel the pull of the Earth. If you weighed 100 pounds on Earth and you could somehow climb a magic ladder up into that point, you would weigh about 90% of your body weight on Earth. You'd be about 90 pounds. But the ISS isn't just sitting there weighing 90% of what it does on Earth. It's in orbit. It is going at 17,500 miles per hour. And at that speed, it's matching the curvature of the Earth. It's effectively constantly falling to the ground, but because it's going so fast, it keeps missing the ground and keeps falling. So everything in the station, and that includes the astronauts, are falling at the same rate, and that's what gives the feeling of microgravity or zero gravity. When Apollo went to the moon, they were effectively in a trajectory that put them in a giant Earth orbit. Now, of course, that giant orbit was designed to be intercepted by the moon so that they ended up in the moon's sphere of influence. There was a point on every mission when they were leaving the planet, losing speed, where they suddenly swapped into the moon's sphere of influence. That was called the equigravisphere, and they started speeding up because then they were falling toward the Earth. The crew didn't feel the difference, but they went from being pulled to the Earth to pulled to the moon and then back again. The same is true of deep space missions. Let's talk about Voyager 1 as an example. Voyager 1 was effectively in giant orbits that intercepted other planets and was affected by that planet's gravity. These are the gravity assists that adjusted the trajectory, but it was always on its way towards falling to the next major body. Now that it's in interstellar space, it's still falling towards something. I just don't know what that something is. So in short, from at least my understanding as a non-physicist, you can be so far away from something in space that you are barely affected by its gravity, but you are always going to be affected by the gravity. If that isn't the kind of thought process that kind of makes your head spin, I don't know what to tell you, because that one kind of got me. 